Hello everyone, and today I'd like to show you another very interactive chess problem from one of the chess games of Arthur B. Square. Yesterday we checked out a, a beautiful, wonderful chess problem uh, by, the same, uh, by the same chess player uh, from one of his real chess games. And this is also one of his chess games against a very important chess player. So in this chess game, Arthur B. Square had the white pieces and his opponent was Jonathan Penrose. The 10 times, I repeat, the 10 times chess champion of England, which is, I believe, an unbroken record, so very impressive. And in this chess game, we see some amazing moves by Arthur B. Square, who, Arthur B. Square, by the way, was the chess champion of the United States for one time, and he even managed to defeat Bobby Fischer for one time, and then he famously lost to Bobby Fischer 13 straight 13 straight times, which is also uh, one of the worst losing streaks uh, at Grandmaster level chess to a player, to a one player. Uh, I mentioned all that in my video yesterday, so let's check out what happened in this chess game. So B square who has the white pieces and he played Rook over. This is not yet the critical moment. Knight to c5 and it is white to move. Now B square played knight to f5 which is a risky move and we have bishop to f8 actually capturing the knight is possible let's check out what happens if capturing the knight then this is going to crack open the g-file and this is looking very dangerous so attacking the knight if attempting move such as knight to h5 then white has a very strong move in this position, it is white to move and basically win. So let me give you a few seconds, consider this as a very important part of this problem. It is white to move and win. So can you see that move? Can you spot that move? There are some amazing tactics in this position. Well the move is knight takes on e5, that's a discovery attack to the knight and also attacking the rook and threatening checkmate. So what else? Capturing the knight and then capturing the knight with the queen and white is better in this position. So you can see that white has a monster attack and defending is not so easy even though white is a piece down in this position. But this is of course a risky chess. So okay, a knight to f5 was the move which is very risky. But we have bishop to f8 by Jonathan Penrose, again the 10 times chess champion of England. And in this position, again, after capturing the knight, instead of moving the knight, bishop back is the most accurate defense in this position. But I think Penrose didn't see this. Uh, this knight was not his knight, this was not his day. Uh, I don't know what time they played this game. <laughs> uh, so he didn't do very well in this chess game, so we have knight to f5 bishop to f8, knight back, and then knight to e8, simplifying the game, exchanging stuff, and then h4. So b square simply wants to open the g-file, knight to g7, h5, and Penrose says, okay, the challenge is accepted, and then knight takes on h5 and threatening knight to f4. And it is white to move. Now, knight takes on e5, Discover attacking the knight, but then knight to f4 by Jonathan Penrose. And it is white to move and win. Can you see the next move for white? Actually, today's puzzle is a little bit simple, but knight takes on e5 in that possible continuation. I think it was not very simple. And in this position, white has a very strong move. Uh, by the way, in this position, after knight takes on e5, if capturing the knight, then queen takes on h5 and white is better. White is significantly better in this position. So knight takes on e5, knight to f4, and it is white to move and win. Okay, if I give you three seconds, can you see the move? Arthur B square played, are you ready? He played rook to g8, and after this move, Penrose resigned. Because of this only possible continuation, this is the only legal move. Rook takes on g8 and then knight to f7, check, mate. So did you see some of the key moves in this wonderful, fantastic chess game by Arthur B. Square? He defeated the 10 times British chess champion just like this. So, okay, I hope to see you again 
uh, with more amazing interactive chess video. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. So stay safe, take care and bye bye.